Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Pet Cement. I will be your host today and my name is Rudy Oms and hopefully you all know me by now. But before we go to this week's topic, I want to give you a small heads up because if you are using a new suture for Microsoft called Personal Data Encryption, I want you to be aware of something because you are still able to log in with the password. Well, let's see, right? But by using a password, you are still able to access that protected data and you are able to open it. Even while Microsoft the official documentation clearly states that you are required to use Windows Hello for Business Admin to access that protected data. And somewhere we can still use a password. Well, I think it's weird, right? But let's move on to this week's topic, Fiddler. Why Fiddler? Well, a couple of weeks back, I was at MMS MOA. I was presenting a session how to debug some interim related stuff. And of course, Fiddler was also in it. But I really didn't explain that much how to configure it, how to set it up. And then a lot of feedback and questions came after the session. If I could do a demo on it or a session right well, here we are, right? So, I guess we just start with some common questions. I will try to answer them one by one. And of course, I will show you a demo on how I config Fiddler, and which settings I think are pretty important for us to configure Fiddler. Right? So, if you go to the first question, what is Fiddler? Well, I think that Fiddler is a kind of proxy. Well, actually, it is a proxy because Fiddler is placed between the device and the servers. And Fiddler allows us to capture all the Intune traffic, all the HTTP, HTTPS traffic that's happening between the device and the server. So, for example, if the Intune management extension fails to download the app itself, it can be a best map. It isn't a best map problem, but if the Intune management extension fails to install the app itself, we can use Fiddler to find out what's happening. If HTML management extension fails to contact the service, if the HTML management extension fails to download the app itself, that's where Fiddler comes in, right? So, another example will be if the device isn't receiving engine policies or doesn't fail to contact the service to hand over the compliance state. Well, that's where Fiddler comes into play. You can think of it like a network camera, every single Information, all the bits of information that will be sent over to the service or from the service to the device, it will be recorded. With Fiddler, we can take a look at the policy, of, at the requests, at the bodies, and all the information that's in it. And especially the Fiddler body that comes back from the service. Most of the time, that gives us way more information than all of the logs combined. So Fiddler is a proxy, right? So, why should we use Fiddler to troubleshoot engine related stuff? Well, we got the engine management extension, we got the agent executor. It's all fine, right? You can use those logs to debug engine related issues. Well, in my opinion, there's only one piece of the information. We need to see the full picture. To see the full picture, we need some additional tools. So that's where Fiddler comes into play. There's an additional tool we can use to troubleshoot engine related stuff. So, for example, some time ago, I needed to troubleshoot an issue where PowerShell scripts suddenly did, weren't getting deployed to new devices. They weren't executed at all. Normally, you would say, I will open the agent executor and start to add that log, right? But that log was pretty empty, didn't show me anything. So from there on, I opened the Intune Management Extension. That one showed me some more information and one piece of the information, but again, not the full picture. To find out what was really happening, I need to use Fiddler, the proxy tool. So I installed Fiddler, I configured Fiddler with the settings. I will show you in a couple of minutes with the demo. And I restarted the instrument management extension. The moment I restarted the instrument management extension, the device was switching out to the interest service and asking for the policies, a request policy command. And that request policy command, I noticed that with Fiddler, it was downloading a big JSON file. In the JSON file, it was mentioning the encrypted PowerShell script and the not encrypted PowerShell script. So two times the same information. And somehow it complete that is it completely should download completely successfully. Somehow the engine management extension failed to decrypt or convert it. That's right, right? So in combination with Fiddler and the engine management extension, I could figure out that somehow the JSON file was it got too big for the engine management extension to convert. It was more than two megabytes, and the threshold is two megabytes, which is pretty low for these days, but 
with that information, I know what to start looking. So, Fiddler can use troubleshooting right, but there are also some other different tools as well that we can use for capturing HTTP AS traffic, right? Well, during my session at the MMRS Malware Hacking out about it, Mike Niehaus, we talked a little bit about the man in the middle proxy. That's almost the same kind of tool that allows us to capture the same kind of information, but it has some more things to set up. It takes a long enough time to configure it. And I'm actually, I'm old school. I'm become one an older guy and I'm used to using Fiddler. So Fiddler is my thing. It's very easy to set up and configure. So I think it's best that we are going to show you the live demo, how I configure Fiddler and which settings are pretty important. Well, I guess it's demo time then because as you can see here, here, it's pretty easy to download Fiddler. You still need to fill in a couple pieces of information and from there on, you can download the installer. Once you download the installer, you can simply just start executing it by double-clicking it, accepting the terms, and this is where the first magic is going to happen because normally it will start installing in the user profile from that user you are executing the executable form. But I will change that to a different folder, the program files folder. Why? Because normally if you want to capture engine traffic, we can do so from the user account. The user account is pretty useful when you need to capture traffic from the company portal, I will show you later on, or the engine management extension, which literally does the same thing. If you want to capture the real policies that are not going to be deployed or deployed from the device, we need to do so from the system account. So that's why I installed in the program files folder. It's more, more easier to go to the program files folder from the system account than go to the whole user profile from the user I installed it in. So I install it and that's it, right? And we are ready to start troubleshooting in tune with Fiddler. Well, not really because of course we need to configure a couple of settings first. So I'm going to open Fiddler. And the first thing I normally do is ensuring that I'm going to enable the decrypt HTTPS traffic. Why? Because it's not enabled by default, so it doesn't capture any really important information. So the moment I enable this button, it will ask me to uh, accept the certificate itself because it uses self-signed certificate to be put in place between the device and the service. And I don't like that because it will break all the communication with Intune because Intune doesn't like a proxy in place. Because the moment when Fiddler talks with the service, it will show the self-signed certificate, which is not the real certificate, and with it, the Intune management extension will deny the traffic. So that's not good, right? But I will show you in, in a couple of seconds. But the next thing I normally do is also ensuring that I'm going to exempt the apps. Why? Because uh, normally all the apps are denied to communicate with the local host. And if I'm going to exempt them all and save them, those apps are now allowed to communicate with the local host. And one of the uh, apps I'm going to uh, exempt is a cloud experience host. And that one is pretty important when you want to troubleshoot autopilot related issues during autopilot. So, please ensure that you're going to exempt all the apps before you start troubleshooting Autopilot with Fiddler. So the next thing we do, because Fiddler is a proxy, we need to ensure that we are going to show reroute all the communication to Intune, not to the Fiddler. So the thing I do is opening the CMD as an admin, and from there on I can copy paste the sh command in it, which will just put a proxy of configure a proxy for every single thing and will reroute all the traffic to Fiddler. So I'm done, right? Well, again, as I was mentioning before, we can uh, open Fiddler as a user account, but we can also open a, uh, Fiddler as a system account. To do so, we need to use PC exec. So I already downloaded PC exec and with a couple of parameters, I will open PowerShell and from there on, I can go to the program files folder and I'm going to open Fiddler, but I'm going to close this one first. Otherwise it won't work. And now I'm going to open Fiddler as a system account. Each does it right. But then again, as I was just mentioning a couple of minutes back, 
how are we going to handle SL pinning, right? Because Fiddler is going to communicate with the service with his own self-signed certificate, and I don't want that. So to ensure Fiddler can communicate with the service with the proper certificate, we need to export it, right? So the first thing I do is opening the certificate store, choosing the local computer, and if you go to the personal certificates, we will notice that all the required certificates are there. The ENTRA certificate, the INGE certificate, and the MMPC certificate. So what I can do is just export it. I don't need a private key for this, only the SAS file. I'm going to choose the location. This time I use the folder tests. It's really good for production stuff. Choose the certificate itself, which we want to save. Once I export it, that's the first part, we need to also define the rules in Fiddler. So I already have a list of rules that I always use to ensure that communication to the instrument extension is rerouted to the proper certificate. And if the uh, device needs to communicate with the to retrieve the policies, it also needs to use the instrument certificate. And then same for MMPC, device inventory and EPM. It uses MMPC certificate, and of course, you can also do the same with the Entra Azure certificate itself. So, what you can do is just copy paste this one, and we go to rules, customize rules, and somewhere down here, we can just copy paste the stuff in it to ensure that if Fiddler is going to communicate with that host name, so some things you really need to change because this is my uh, Azure scale unit, so you need to change that one to yours before you start using Fiddler. You save it, and the next time you open Fiddler, as a user or system, it can communicate with the service with a proper certificate. And that's, besides the NetSA command, one of the most important things you need to configure otherwise you are not allowed to capture traffic. So we can do so, or we can take a close look at it. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Fiddler as the user account. And it starts already communicating in the background. So from there on, I'm going to open the company portal, right? Oh, it's already open, so I'm going to reopen it. And the moment you see it signing in, you can see the device communicating with the URL, which I was just mentioning. And we can spot everything the company portal is doing in the background. And that's a lot. It talks a lot of back and forth with the service. So we have Fiddler in place, we have the certificates in place, and now a good example what we can use if we have compliance issues, right? Because it's troubleshooting. What we can do, for example, if the device is not able to get compliant, we can press the check access button. The moment we press the check, check access button, we will start noticing that the device starts communicating with the service a lot. And this is why you can use Fiddler if you have Intune related issues such as compliance issues. If you install Fiddler and you configure every setting we discussed, that's not a lot, but you need to configure it. It's very easy to find out why your device isn't getting compliant or why you are running into some weird issues. What's next? This time we talked about Fiddler. I showed everything you need to know to start using Fiddler, how to set it up and how to configure it. I even showed you a demo of how I use Fiddler, how I configure some of the specific settings to ensure I can capture all the traffic I need. But there are way more tools I use to debug engine related issues, such as SyncML tool. It's a perfect tool where you need to troubleshoot an issue when some engine policies are not coming down to your device. So I guess next time we take a closer look at the SyncML tool. But before we wrap up, if you are still manually updating apps, please stop wasting your time. Come on and book a demo and see how Pestmine Patch C keeps everything up to date automatically and at scale. Come to our website and book a demo.